And what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Joe Fontaine in the VIP Sound Lab. And I have some questions on Machine 1.8 as far as doing routing uh, audio internally as well as submixing. Now you can do mixing uh, inside of Machine and uh, I wouldn't suggest doing your whole entire mixing machine, but you definitely can get a good pre-mix inside of Machine and I'll show you what I mean. In Machine, you can uh, route audio and mix on a master level, a group level, as well as a sound level. So let's say right here I'm on the master level. Um, in reality, you really wouldn't want to put, you know, too many plugins on this master channel in your mix. You want to wait to your final mix when you're going to the studio if you're using Pro Tools. But, you know, if you want to get the sound quality that you're looking for, this is a good start. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, we're on the master level, we're on the mix. You have eight groups a through h here these knobs basically correspond with the groups up here a through h so when i'm moving this knob here see the knob up there moving that's controlling the mix on group c where it says chords this is just a stock uh kit that came with i'm just using i'm just using this for an example but you see how that was controlling that you also have a, uh, a pan drop down menu here where if i want to control the pans up there so you, you know you know you see how this could be useful as far as doing your mix okay you can double click these and it goes back to its default level so if you had hi-hats here hi-hats here um, snare here kick here instruments here now this basically becomes like a mixer sliding the faders up and down and you're controlling your mix so you know, on the master level, you also have an output tab here with 16 outputs. These 16 outputs is basically for if you have a hardware device, you can assign this to your hardware device if it will recognize machine. You also can route audio, let's say, to a software DAW or, uh, you know, things like that. I have videos on that where I, I nine times in 10, I route mine to Pro Tools. Um, Shout out to Advit. You know, Pro Tools is a sound quality I definitely can trust, and I love using it with Machine. And again, on a group level, okay, you have a main here, and you have the auxes here. I'll get to the auxes in a second, but here's the level, and here's the pan. So you're like, why is there a level in the pan here? And then there's one on, on the master. It's just a copy. Where it says master here mix, this, it's just basically a copy. Let me get to the outside of this. Okay, so don't let that confuse you. So now on a group level, okay, we have the auxes right here, which basically allow you to send audio or route audio internally into machine. Okay, so I'll get to this in a sec. Here's the main. Okay, you have a drop down menu with your aux mode. Here's your aux mode. You got premix one, you got premix two. All right, so premix just basically means even if the level is changed in the mixer the levels are not changed in the outputs of the auxiliary so let's say if we're on the sound level here let's go back to main all right now we can get things set up as far as routing audio or or, or rather this is more or less sub mixing and i'll show you what i mean because in a mix you know how like when your your kicks sometimes they clash with your bass you know and if you got different groups you want to you want to better control and blend that so let's say let's use a blank group we're going to use this as an input now instead of an output i'll show you what i mean so let me let me let me type in plug in what should i call it uh i don't know we'll just call it mix for right now we'll call it plug in mix because i'm going to use that to blend sounds and i'll show you what i mean or sub mix sounds so we got to set this up as an input internal and I'm going to use my waves uh, channel. Now this is a, a CPU intensive um, plugin, so it might take a minute to load up. Well, I'll use the G channel. Well, actually, load it faster than I thought it would. Actually, okay. So let's tuck this over here, and let's say I, I want to filter off anything below, let's say 50 k to Z. You know, I'm just estimating here, and we'll put a little filter on the highs too. Basically, I'm going to be using this to mix bass, so I'm not even going to really worry about the high frequency too much. Nine times out of ten, more mid equals a louder mix. But again, you're not going to really know because I'm just estimating right here. I'm just getting a general idea. I'm pushing these levels pretty hard too. Uh, we'll use a three to one ratio, so I definitely know that will not clash. But again, 
in reality, this is just a pre-mix, so it doesn't matter. I don't have to have it perfect. I'm just, I just want the sound that I'm looking for right now. Okay, so now I'll just tuck this to the side, and I don't want to use analog. All right, we'll turn, we'll tuck this to the side. Now this is the track by itself. Keep in mind. Now this is the plugin will not be doing anything yet. All right, so that's the mix. Just plain, dry, and simple. All right, so now let's jump over here to the kicks. Now what I want to do, let's say, okay, here's a kick. It's saying 808. Uh, we have one here, set your goals. And I've seen another one somewhere. Okay, here it is, kick bionic. Three different kicks. So this kick is more like, heavy bass right here heavy hard end bass this is more like, like like a thumpy little kick so let's say on a sound level remember we're not on a group level we're not on a mash level we're on a sound level out here's the main okay again we're not on aux mode that's the aux mode we're on main main we're not touching these auxes here boom right here you see right there h plug and mix that's what we just created so now on a sound level that kick will be affected or rather be routed internally to that group with that plugin. So let's go back over here, bring this up, and now you see right there, this, this, you notice the, the indicators or the LEDs, they're only sounding off whenever that kick hits. Nothing else, nothing else is being affected, just that. That one little kick is being affected. So if you wanna turn the bass up on that, I'm exaggerating this a lot though, just to give you an idea. You hear how deep that's getting? All right, so let's, let's roll that back a little bit. All right, so now on the sound level, that kick is being affected. All right, so let's go over here to the bass. Say, okay, I want this bass to be blending with that kick. Again, sound level out. Let's go ahead and, and give it a little more knock to it. I'm gonna bring the level down, so I'm not really sure yet. We'll put it back, or actually I'm gonna blend that with that kick. So let's let's check it out. Right about there. kick remember we have the master channel with the mix here so now I'm on group A so I can blend that sound in and we also have the pans so if I want to pan it left or right Now we're getting more control over the mix on that. All right, so let's so let's do another one to make it sound more more fuller and more complete. We'll do the same thing on this kick. I'm going to route that one also, and this kick here. Now this is where it can get dangerous <laughs> because I'm 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 putting a lot of emphasis on that and a lot of them sounds might clash. So let's take let's just take a listen right quick. All right, so if we want to get an even fuller mix, let's let's those see how it's, it's it's blending now those kicks in that bass is more or less it's becoming the drive of the track now the hi-hats and everything is getting left behind so let's go over here to group a, let me see group g we're on group g right and let's do another input let's name this uh high mix like this here 
and I'm going to use, we'll just use a, a stock Native Instruments plugin on that one. So let's go back over here and let's take a look at some of the, let's say this clap on a sound level. Let's put this on the high mix. Clap, snare. That shaker might get aggravating. And this snare bipolar. All right. So now we have those getting affected. Actually, those uh, those shakers definitely need to be in there. a little bit. Let's go back over here. Make sure we're not clipping. You definitely want to make sure you're not clipping. So we get a little more of them kicks. Nah, that's a little too hard. right there that's not bad might even add a little reverb let's go ahead and get crazy let's go ahead, let's go ahead and get crazy with it y'all bring it down a little bit bring that mix down a little bit uh, bring them highs up Starting to get a little bounce to it. It's your boy Joe Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab, routing audio internally inside the machine. We're doing a little sub mixing. We getting live up in the joint. We're getting a little bounce to it. Yeah. <laughs> getting a little too carried away. Let me calm down. I'm gonna hold it up right there, man. Cause I'm getting too, I'm going too in depth with that for just a little stock <laughs> factory uh, kit. But anyway, man, I hope that answers your questions, man. That gives you a general idea, you know, as far as getting overall control of your mix. Cause again, you can you can mix on the master level, the group level, and the sound level, and uh, that's pretty much how you do it. If you have any questions or concerns, hit me up on my email. Uh, for those who don't know, I have a VIP website. It's called the VIP Sound Lab. I have the link for the website in the description of the video. Uh, to join my website, it's only $9.99. No monthly fees. Again, I repeat, I do not charge monthly fees. I do free tutorial videos on machine. I'm 1.8. I'm going to be dropping a lot of videos this month, so get ready, man. We're going to be dropping a lot because, you know, I work Monday through Friday, so it's hard for me to really get the videos in the way I want. I know there's a million tutorial videos on machine out here right now, but... You know, whenever I get time, I'm going to be dropping these joints, man. I'm going to be putting them out there. And, you know, I believe knowledge should be an open source. I'm not going to charge for no tutorial video, man. How am I going to charge somebody for knowledge? I believe knowledge should be an open source. 
I'm going to put as many tutorial videos on machine out as I, uh, as I can. And also have drum kits on my website if you want to show me some support to help keep these free tutorial videos coming. Come by, man. Like, drop a drum kit. I have some high-quality drum kits. My drum kits, I pack in, man, like three, four times the amount of sounds in a normal drum kit. And I special process them. So the kicks be hitting hard, man. The kicks be hitting hard. They're not clipping, you know. And I have so many drum kits. I can't even begin to even imagine right now. <laughs> Maybe at the end of this video, I'll throw some flyers up on some of the drum kits that we have. Come on my website. I have free demos. You can download the demos and you can check them out and see the quality of the drum kits for yourself. And uh, yeah, I'm here, man. You, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, just hit me up. It's your boy Joe Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab. I hope to see you guys. Come by the website, join the site, become a member. And every month I give out free drum kits. I give out free goodies. I have two databases that I'm currently updating. I have tons of free motif sounds, drum kits. You get a free drum kit at sign up. Um, also, you get member discounts that's not available to the public, like drum kits that I normally sell for like 25, 30 bucks. As a member, you might get those drum kits for like 10, 15 bucks, and they're all high quality. And again, I, I really super pack them with a lot of high quality sounds, such as you're seeing right here, this Machine Guru Sessions Volume 1 kit, which is machine ready. I, I have a lot of drum kits that are also machine ready. I got these little preset kits that you can just load up. Plus, it gives the um the sounds along with it. Like, you can go in here and get, like, a ton of different sounds, man. Like, right there, look at that. Some Just some nasty sound 808s. Over here, I got, like, some nasty sounding kicks. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, my drum kits are dope, trust me. So, um, it's pretty much it for this little module here. I don't want to run too long, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.